Welcome to the new series on the Mad Pony Interactive YouTube channel. In this series we're going to cover Qt, a framework to create desktop applications as well as mobile applications. Qt is a C++ framework but we are going to use Python as Qt is available with Python, JavaScript and other languages as well. There are two versions of Qt in Python. There's PyQt or PyQt, uh, and there is Qt for Python, also known as PySide. You'll often hear me refer to this framework as Qt or Qt. They would like us to call it Qt, but I often just go to Qt because that's what I'm looking at. It's a Q and a T. Anyway, uh, let's see what the differences are in between the two, the PyQt and the PySide. PyQt has a few more tools than PySide, but not that many. Usually what you can do on PyQt, you can do on PySide. Now, what differs the most is the licensing. In PyQt, you can see that we have a GPL level 3, version 3, and for the PySide, we have a LGPL version 3 and a GPL level 2. Well, this sounds a bit confusing. Which one is it then? Is it uh, GPL or LGPL? Right. If we go to the Qt website for the comparison um, here in product features, we can fi find out what's the difference between the two. So if I go here and I look at the LGPL, this is the most flexible license. If you're trying to commercialize your application, this is probably the one you want. Because this one allows you to keep your source, clo uh, your source code closed as, all, as long as all the requirements of the license are met. Of course, you got to check this on the, on the gnu.org website. You have all the information you need for the lesser general public license, which is the one we're talking about. And a as you can see here, everyone is permitted to copy and distribute verbatim copies of this license document, but changing it is not allowed. I'm not going to go over the whole license, obviously, but as you can see, when we select this license, we don't have access to Qt Design Studio, Qt Designer, uh, Shader Tools, uh, Qt Creator, QMake. We don't have access to any of that stuff. But in this course, we're mainly going to be working with this stuff, okay? Qt Core, Qt GUI, in widgets, okay? This is what we're going to be using. We're also going to be using uh, Qt Designer. But the thing is, the license applies to Qt Designer as, um, not as a tool, but as the code of it. So when you create something in Qt Designer, we'll go over it later on in other videos, but when you create something, it produces a code. If you use that code in production, then you are subject to a different license. You'd have to use, for example, the GPL version 3. And the GPL version 3 means that your application device must be licensed under GPL as well. Okay, so you have to, G, the, the GPL license, you have to make everything, so your source code available, and so you can't have a closed source code if you're trying to do something commercial. Then you also have, and this is the one for PyQt, you also have the, the version 2, GPL version 2, doesn't give you access to this, which is the other version for um, the PyQt. So, yes, in the course, we are going to go through Qt Designer, but we are going to um, check out how we can use the, um, not the UI file, but we're going to make sure that we transform that UI file into a Py file so that we don't not, are not obliged to this license. Of course, if you're doing something that is open source and you're going to give the code out to everybody, you don't need to worry about licenses. You can use PyQt instead of PySide, and we are going to cover both. Uh, in their FAQ section they also have some some stuff talking about the open source licensing and one of the the big ones is here do i need to worry about lgpl when using a commercial license version of qt and the main thing here is that they're saying uh you can avoid it uh the the, the other license the G gpl 
by not um, by not using Qt script, Qt QL, QML. No, actually, it's up here. A few modules use the code, like the WebKit. So if and um, the WebKit and the Qt script, Q WebKit, Q -web, Qt Web Ain Engine. So this is the stuff that are bound to the um, LGPL level two. This is a, an older license, but it's, uh, it's more strict. So if we don't use Qt Web Engine, we, we shouldn't be worried about in using PySide, of course. So, <laughs> so much stuff. So to re to resume everything, if you want a more flexible license, go to the Pi side. If not, go to the Pi Q. So with that out of the way, ish, let's get started with this course and let's get to the quick start of Pi side and Pi Q.